certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Well, good Friday morning. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondro with your Friday morning update. We've been tracking that snowfall for this morning, bringing a lot of snowy and slushy roads to mid Michigan, so you will need extra time. Certainly seeing a lot of those impacts on our live on time traffic map for this morning, looking like at least five to 10 extra minutes is going to be needed. For your First Alert weather day for today, two primary focuses on that morning drive, even the bus stops. We have seen a lot of school closings this morning, so early on here, just be sure to check that full list at WNEM.com. But the snow will continue throughout the our early morning hours, even as we head towards the afternoon, we'll still still see some snow, but it starts to wind down through the afternoon. Starting at noon, we see that breaking up towards central Michigan, then continuing to pull out of here throughout the afternoon and eventually the evening hours. Pretty much by the evening, only a few lake effect flurries will remain by the thumb. Otherwise, though, the rest of the area is going to be dry. As far as our snowfall totals go, one to four inches expected in our northernmost counties, two to five inches through central Michigan, the Tri Cities, and the western thumb, three to six inches can be expected in Flint, Lapeer, and the Eastern Thumb. Uh, we are expecting a few isolated six inch totals in that two to five range, but otherwise most folks are going to land right around that two to six range. I'd say on average right around three inches for many in mid Michigan, at least still enough to shovel. 70 forecast on Saturday does have a drier day, but then Sunday and Monday a few more scattered snow showers come in that we will need to track. Temperatures also staying pretty much right near freezing through the weekend, so we'll still see some slick roads even as we head through the next couple of days. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.